Hello and welcome to the Farmer's Kitchen. Hello, Mrs. Farmer. Mr. Farmer. How, how are you tonight? I'm really good. How about I you? I like your little fall shirt. It's uh -huh. like pretty Thank and you. stuff. Yours is really nice too. Thank you very much. You know what? Tonight we're going to have a fun night. Mm -hmm. Can we call this a guilty pleasure night? I love that. Favorite night. You know, they, they say never trust a skinny chef. That's true. I'm becoming more and more trustworthy every day. <laughs> so anyway, we really try to watch it and we work hard around the farm. We do a lot of stuff right. and we stay busy. Mm -hmm. So tonight we're going to have fun. The other morning, Somebody said, have you ever tried dill pickle soup? And I had 14 cups of coffee and my brain went, woo! <laughs> you, know, I, you know, I have had various dill pickle soups. Right. But I thought if you could have dill pickle soup, why couldn't you have cheeseburger soup? Why couldn't you have whatever? Yeah. Oreo soup. Yeah, well, Oreo. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, I love Oreo. Yeah. But tonight we're going to do something that's just absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I thought, okay, if we're going to do this, if we're going to be bad, let's just yes. be totally bad. Exactly. And I want you to make a bread bowl for mm -hmm. this soup. And if you've ever been out to a restaurant and had one of these, they're absolutely wonderful. It's a yeah. little harder bread mm -hmm. on the exterior, and that, that way it's going to hold that moisture right. without leaking out the sides. Mm -hmm. So tonight, Nikki's going to tell you how to make a bread bowl, and then we're going to whip up. I'm going to make one for you and okay. one for me. Good. Two different variations on the soup. It's coming out of one bowl, and you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely wonderful. I'm not going to tell you until a minute. You'll kind of figure out what's going on. So how do you make the bread bowl, Nikki? All right, and it's easier than I thought. I thought it would be difficult. It's pretty simple. I started with a packet of active dry yeast. And I poured that in there. And now I'm going to add, this is warmed a little bit hot water, one cup and an eighth of water to that. I'm going to mix that up. And let this sit for five minutes. Gotcha. So it can do its stuff. All right, it's set five minutes. And now I'm going to take a teaspoon of salt. All right. Teaspoon of sugar. All right, for the bread bowl. That's right. And one tablespoon of olive oil. Gotcha. I'll mix that together. Seem pretty simple. I can dig it so far. And now all we have left is three cups of flour. You gotcha. know what? So so many people think cooking is so hard. Um, so many people don't cook. Mm -hmm. But if you make it simple, and we're going to try to make it simple for you, that's something I, I have noticed that people have been saying. You make it look so easy, and I tried it. Not too long ago, you made yeast rolls. I can believe the response we get on. Everybody remembers yeast rolls when they're yeah. a kid. Their grandmother made them, their great aunt made them, their aunt made them. All of a sudden, we took Lois's recipe, put it on, and you know what? I can't tell you how many people out there have said, hey, we tried these and they were wonderful. Loved it. If you follow the steps, follow directions, and that's what we're here for is to help you. And Miss Nikki, I can't wait. All right, now's where I get dirty. For this recipe. Those are having no Better you than me. All right. Because you got two hands cleaned up. I got one. And I'm just going to kind of knead this together. It doesn't have to be very long, just till I get it into a ball. And then we're going to let it sit 90 minutes. Gotcha. And you know, something that I've been, and I know some people do, and I've kind of done this a couple times, I set my oven to 200. Gotcha. Turn it off, open it up a little bit, and then just set this this bowl right in there. Seems like it, so it's, it's not, a little better. It's not cooking, but it's no. warm enough to make it work. And you leave your oven door open. Beautiful. Ta-da! That's after 90 minutes or it could sit a little longer. You know what? Um, the other day, we were experimenting. We were having fun. I, yeah. I mean, we had this soup at what, 8 o'clock in the morning? We did. It was delish. And I just had it in my mind and I started thinking of, of all the different recipes we've done and I brought this in from here and this in from here. And that's what cooking is. Yes. Don't ever let anybody say, you can't do it that way. Oh, you cut those too thick. You cut those too thin. You can't put sugar in that. Yes, you can. We don't do this at Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. Right. We will never tell you you can't put frog legs in your um, chicken stew. Hmm. I like that. All right. Normally you'd make three of these. Yes, but you want some big bowls for us because we're hungry. Because we're hungry. And this really does get nice and hard and it will not let that soup out the side. We got more cool. to do though. It's on parchment paper. Gotcha. We're going to set this beside us. Let's watch it for 20 minutes. We're going to let it rise a little bit more and then we have to do something else to it before we cook it. You'll cover that up? Nope, we're just going to let it sit just like this. Yep. Gotcha. Behind us. Now we're gonna start the soup. So the other day, I asked you what you would like for lunch, <laughs> and what do you always say? Cheeseburger. Never fails. She loves cheeseburgers. I do love cheeseburgers. We didn't have buns, mm -hmm. so that dill pickle soup thing was still floating around inside my head, and I thought, okay, all right, I'm gonna try this. Now, I'm sure somebody <laughs> has done some kind of soup like this before. I don't know, but this one's mine. This is good. I started thinking about Dad and the way he makes his world famous cheeseburgers. Oh, yeah. like, what if I could make a soup mm -hmm. that tastes like that? The first thing you taste is the onions. Right. Now, even if you don't like onions, I guarantee you, if you get a yellow sweet onion, cook it in butter like I'm doing. Oh yeah. 
almost anything that you cook turns into magic because these are sweet. Those sweet juices caramelize oh, yeah. in this. Oh my. So that's where we're going to start. I'm going to take me a yellow sweet onion. And I'm going to cut that up into what I like to call fingernail sized pieces. We're just going to take that with a little ulu knife. Okay, now you think with all the flavors that are in a hamburger, mm -hmm. cheeseburger meal, especially dad's cheeseburgers, you got the onion, right? you got the cheese. He didn't really go too much past that. You got the pickle. Right. This That's is where we're need. starting. But that onion, that sweet onion, I always remember, I knew when he was cooking his world famous cheeseburger, I could smell them outside. Smell the onions. I could smell them cooking outside and we knew what was coming. Now you're having your cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. What kind of side would you want? Always potatoes. Some kind Always of potatoes. potatoes. I think right. we I think we can work that in. That's as well. right. Do you want me to do something with the burger? You know what I do. Now the other day, when we were experimenting, how about tiny burgers all through your soup? Mm -hmm. So you're going to take a little measuring cup. That way they're even. My little balls. So if you can have cheeseburger soup, you got to have lots of little cheeseburgers. That's right. I'm making little baby burgers here. I'm telling you, this kind of stuff makes me happy. Yeah. Now Dad used butter on his buns. You had the butter taste. That's important. So we're going to actually put a little butter. Now, lady asked a week or so ago, what pan is that? I want to buy it for my husband. And that's just an enameled, I guess it's about a 10 inch pan, right? Mm -hmm. Would that be 10 inches? Yeah. It's an enameled cast iron. I love these. I use them more than anything. This is as well. All right, Mrs. Farmer. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on here. Got your burger. Look at your little tiny burger Beautiful. balls. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put them in here. Let me help you. And I'm just going to... Once I get them in here, I'm just going to flatten them out just a little bit. So now, Mr. Farmer, Jerry Farmer, very important, Mr. Farmer would say, yes. to salt and pepper these little guys. I should have done that before I put them in here, but it's never too late. That's right. A little salt, a little pepper. Those are just cute. Aren't they, though? They're cute. All right. Now, Mrs. Farmer, if you will take those three small dill spears. I will. We're gonna have dill pickles in our soup. The taste of dill pickles. And the chopper's wonderful for this. The chopper's gonna just mush them up. All right. So, do you know, fermented pickles are a probiotic. Really? That's good. So you take a little sip of juice every now and then, pickle mm -hmm. juice, ooh, boy, I'll tell you what. Now, I'm just gonna let these take their time. We're not in any hurry here. It's kinda like little meatballs. Let these get nice and done. All right, Mrs. Farmer, I'm gonna take me some Velveeta cheese. Uh-huh. All right, Mrs. Farmer, I'm going to take me a third of a block of Velveeta cheese. Yummy. And I'm going to pop in here. I'm going to let that melt. How can it not be good with cheese like that? What do you think? I could eat that. With cheese, onions. Yes. onions, little baby burgers. You okay. know what? I'm going to have you scoop this out. Have you got a scooper? I use this? Yep. That is one can of potato soup. We're just going to continue to let this melt all down. All right, we're at a good point here where this is melting down where you can... Do my bread? Top your bread. All right, and I have just a little bit of milk in here and an egg for like a wash from the top. A little bit of what in there? A little bit of milk. How do you spell milk? M-E-L-L-K. -L -L and I'm just gonna, you know, always a little egg wash on the top. That's funny, north and south. It's milk, <laughs> milk here and it's milk. Say it again. Milk. You said milk that though. All right, Mrs. Farmer, it's heavenly smelling in here. Yes, it is. What are you gonna do now? We are gonna score the top of these. A little, right. Put a little X on each one. X marks the spot. Yeah, to help them when they're cooking. And I'm going to put egg wash on each one. And what do you think about some sesame seeds? Sesame seeds. To seed make buns? them look like a big bun? Yeah. You know what? The whole family pitched on this. That's Kelly's idea. I know. <laughs> That's a good idea. Now, you think about this. When we get this done, the presentation is going to look kind of like a burger. Now, she likes mushroom and swish. Yes, I do. I like just a regular old American cheeseburger. So, we're going to hook both of us up tonight. Now, if you'll take a look at this soup. Our cheese is almost melted. Now what are we gonna do, Miss Farmer? You want your pickles? Pickles. We knock those yeah, in for you. Scrape those out. And I'm gonna put a little bit of pickle juice in here. Oh, if I had to guess, good. that's two tablespoons or so. Now what we're we gonna do in here? A little salt. A little pepper. Okay. I'm gonna sesame seed my my burnt buns over here. Now look at this, Miss Farmer. Would you like to have a hamburger in almost I would. every bite? I would. Now look at that, Mrs. Farmer. Looks good. That in itself. It's like a cheese dip almost. <laughs> yeah, it looks like if you had broccoli, you could, you could oh, make yeah. a dish out of that right there. Now, here's what we're going to do. Half and half. Two cups of half and half. Okay, now we're ready to take our cheeseburger. Yummy. Add it to your soup. Our hamburger. Put it in our cheeseburger soup. 
And then we're going to let that all kind of get together. We're going to turn it up a little bit and let it cook down, let it thicken up. Now I'm going to keep the skillet, Mrs. Farmer. Okay. You know what I'm doing with that, don't you? What are you doing with For that? For your mushrooms Ooh, and yeah. your onions. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Uh -huh. All right, there's our buns, our soup bowl. And they're going to raise up a little in the oven. I'm going to go ahead and throw them in. Perfect. 400, we're going to give those a half hour. All righty. All right, so what I'm going to do now, Mrs. Farmer, because you are a mushroom Swiss mm -hmm. person, so I'm going to hook you up, and you like little onions on that as well. I'm just going to catch up a little bit of onion here in the butter that's left over. So we still have that wonderful taste in there. Right. I'll take you some mushrooms. It's just enough for your what I cheeseburger like. soup, your Swiss cheeseburger Yay. soup. Yeah. And see, you don't want this to get too hot. You don't want it to scorch. Right. But you do want it to thicken up and you want it to cook down just a little bit. And look where we're, look where we're at. Have you tasted it? Oh, Mrs. Farmer, I guess I could turn this down mm -hmm. and we could get started on a bourbon pumpkin pie. Yes, we could. That's not much different from any other pie. But we'll put a little bit of pecan on the top. Bourbon. A little bit of bourbon. Yeah. There. You got something good. I'm going to turn this all down because we're waiting for the bread now. Alrighty. And let's go ahead and get started on our bourbon pumpkin pie. Okay. And let's get this pumpkin pie started. Quick dessert, and this is so simple. And I already made my homemade shell earlier gotcha. and got that ready for us, it makes it easier. And well, I always do that with lard. I have two cups of packed pumpkin here, and then I have a cup and a half of the Eagle Brand, the sweet milk. Mm -hmm. No calories. In. No calories in that. And yeah. half a cup of sugar. I have two eggs. Crack in there. This is so, what's so easy about pumpkin pie, just put it all together, mix and it that's up. That's it. I know. Except for your spices. That's right, my spices. And this time I did two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. That's a little bit of everything. If you smell that, doesn't it smell good? It smells like pumpkin pie. Imagine yeah, that. Makes it easy. And here's our secret ingredient two teaspoons of bourbon, your favorite bourbon. And that just gives it just a little bit of a tang. That's right. And we're going to mix this up. I wish they could come up with something so you could smell what's going on in this mm -hmm. kitchen right now. If you smell the bread in the oven, the soup over here, the onions and the mushrooms, and now, now we got a pie. Are you serious? Do you have to preheat the oven, Mrs. Farmer? I do, and we're going to preheat that to 400, and it's okay. already on 400 with the where so the So you're just going to pull those out and yes. put that in. I got you. And we're going to let that go 15 minutes, and then we're going to turn it down to 350 for a half an hour. So while mm -hmm. we eat our soup, hopefully our pie will be cooking. Beautiful. Hey, you only do it fancy, you want to put some I do. On? I was hoping you would do the fancy. Now you can pull these off before you slice them, but I just I like, it. like it to be like pleasing it. to the eye. It's our pumpkin pie with pecan twist. Bourbon pecan <laughs> pumpkin pie. Now, pecans didn't really earn the title here. They're just kind of sitting yeah, there. Just looking pretty. I'm an artiste. Good job. Now, as soon as we pull that bread, I'm going to throw this pie in. Boom. I'm going to set it back here behind us. So look at this, nice and dense, firm, you use bread flour there, right? So easy, yes. So easy, nothing to it, mm -hmm. nice and firm, dense, so we can cut that out. Mm -hmm. Yummy. And it'll hold that liquid and it won't leak out. So Mrs. Farmer, look look how thick our soup is. Look at that. That looks good. Look at that, a burger in every bite. Can't wait for that. You ready for some bowls? We're almost, we're almost here. I'm excited. You want to let them set a minute? You're supposed to, but you know what, I'm hungry. Let's, I say, I can burn my fingers to cut them, what do you think? Let's do it. <laughs> Mrs. Farmer, the moment has arrived. I'm excited. Are you I'm, hungry? Yes, I've been eating the bread, so is Kelly, that we pulled out of the, the little bowl here. All right, Mrs. Farmer, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and dump our soup into our bread bowl. A big heap yeah. of heap and scoop. That's oh. a big bowl of soup. Oh, all that that's, bread? That's quite a bit of that's soup that you can fit in there. What are, you, what are your accoutrements for a hamburger? Hmm. Mm. I know what you like. I know, yeah. I know what I know you what like. I know what I like. So here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> now this may seem silly. Cheese. Gotta make it a real cheeseburger. Pickle. A little ketchup. A little mustard. Mm. Now what you can do is you can take this and just push this down in here and let that mix up in there. The perfect cheeseburger the soup. Perfect cheeseburger soup. Are you kidding me? <laughs> now yours, on the other hand. Yes. 
I'm gonna take just a little bit. Um, it, you may or may not like this. Just a little bit of horseradish. I like horseradish. For you. I like horseradish. You love horseradish. A piece of Swiss cheese. Yummy. Onions. I think mine's better than yours. <laughs> you know what? I'm not gonna argue with you. I like that. I think Ooh. they're both good. Pickle on I the like side. Like a pickle. Yeah. All right. And look at there, Mrs. Farmer. Woohoo! And look at we have extra bread. If we get we can dip that in the soup as we're eating it. Look. It's too pretty to eat. Yes, it is. <laughs> I am so proud of my cheeseburger potato soup. That looks so delicious. And yours is mushroom Swiss cheeseburger yes. potato soup. Oh, you know what we need? Spoons. I'm going to take a moment mix that American cheese and the ketchup and the mustard in. Now, if you don't want those, you don't have to have that. Mm -hmm, I'm excited. And let me tell you what. Look, I'm going to find me a burger. I found me a burger. That's a big burger right there. Oh, my. Oh, wow. Listen, I'm not kidding you. That is so good. I like it with the horseradish. I love it. This is so, with the Swiss cheese, mine's, mine is so good. With the mushrooms. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. This might seem like a novelty. That's good. But let me tell you what. You try this. You give this to your kids. Oh, yeah. Give this to your great uncle. Mm -hmm. Give this to the man <laughs> down the road. They're going to like this. This was fun to make, too. It was fun. It was fun. And it just popped into my head, and it's so delicious. It is delicious. Be adventurous. Don't let anybody tell you, you can't put that in there. <laughs> because you can. That's right. A lot of people say you shouldn't put a turkey in a trash can. I think I it's good. I beg to differ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a buddy of mine, Cliff, who plays drums with us, he said, you know, my dad has been cooking trash can turkey for a lot of years. Now, just as a little bit of a, a warning, make sure you burn your can off. Make sure there's no chemicals in your can. Right. A lot of people say there might be some zinc or something there. Burn it off or make sure you got something that won't be chemically affected. And this turns out perfect every time. It so does. here it is, trash can turkey. People have been asking for it. Yum. John Swain, we've been talking about this for a while. Yes, we have. It's outside. The big, the big draw here, 90 minutes for 12, 13 pound bird. 90 minutes, most of the time. Ridiculous. Mm. And good taste. And good taste. Most of the moisture is, remains in the bird and uh, it's tender as can be. And it's, uh, it's pretty, and it doesn't tie up the kitchen while somebody's trying to cook something else. Exactly, it doesn't mess anything up. Here's the deal. When you started talking about this, I think, well, it's, it's got to be terribly complicated. It's probably one of the easiest, and it makes so much sense. And it's right in the Dutch oven realm. Mm -hmm. It's convection cooking. Mm -hmm. That's exactly in right. Tell us how you start. First of all, how do you prepare your area? Need a pretty level surface uh, to, to work with. But you took you took a post. It's a cedar post. That's right. You covered it with aluminum foil. Correct. Then you capped it with aluminum foil. That's right. So, you know, you don't get it dirty on the sticker. Anything. That's you right. basically knocked it into the ground. That's right. On top of aluminum foil that's already been spread on the ground. Then you take your bird. Legs down and impale the bird, essentially, on the stake. Now you also put salt and pepper on the inside and salt outside. Salt and pepper on the inside and the outside of the bird before you before you put it onto the steak. Get the charcoal ready, put the charcoal on top of the one layer on top of the can, pile the rest of the charcoal around the perimeter of the can and let it cook. Come back 90 minutes later and see what you've got. You've got the taste of the charcoal? A little bit, just a hint. Just a hint. It's got a it's little bit of a smoky flavor to it. Most of the smoky flavor comes from its own juices mm -hmm. as it as it hits that hot side of that can and it and it smokes its own juices up inside the target. It's delicious. Now that is not your traditional full size trash can, I no, have noticed. No, it's not. It's not. I think it's a, a ten or fifteen gallon can. Probably ten. I can't remember. I've had it so long I can't remember what the what the size of it is. If you're gonna if you're gonna do this for the first time, it's probably a good idea to burn the can off mm -hmm. first any before you put a bird in it, anything. just to get the yeah. impurities burned out of it and uh, uh, any kind of a lingering, any lingering aroma that might get infused into the bird. I really like where you're going with this. And in the meantime, the oven is freed up in the house for doing right. whatever you know the the dressings or anything. And, and you made one more point that your wife said something about. Obviously, I guess you could put something in case some of the juices under here, but she prepares ahead of time for that. She does. She starts a month or two months ahead of time and saves all the chicken broth that she generates and those fine meals she fixes me and uh, stores it 
and so that when it's time to make the dressing or, or the gravy or whatever else she needs, uh, she's ready to go. So she pretty much says, send you outside. Uh, she hadn't cooked a turkey and I don't know when. How, how many years realistically you think you've been doing this? Uh, 20 or 25 probably. No kidding. Mm -hmm. It's fantastic. Well, now we get to sit back and walk around, take a look at the cabin, yeah. go look at some other stuff, and then uh, we'll come back and check on it. Sounds good. All right. Well, let's see what we've got here. Just like Christmas, mm. I hope. I can't wait to see this. And when the 90 minutes is up, you can very carefully pick the the can up off the turkey and see what it looks like. Stick a thermometer in there and get yourself up about 165 or 170. And we're there. 165. We got it. Wow. Chevy Chase would be proud, wouldn't he? <laughs> And you had this timed exactly. You said we're going to check this at such and such time. We did. It's 165 degrees. So what's the first thing you carve off of this? I think it uh, goes back to the code of Hamu Rabbi that you're supposed to eat the crispy part off the neck first. Okay. So I think should you should. I? I think you should. Oh, Look nice. at that. Oh, man. <laughs> mm. Plenty moist, even though it's crisp. Got a little bit of a just a hint of a smoky flavor to it. My wife knew I was coming over here today to do this with you, and we agreed that you shouldn't eat good turkey like this without some cranberry sauce. So she got up early this morning and handmade a little bit of cranberry sauce for us to use with this turkey, so. I mean, this is that? fresh cranberry sauce, out of cranberry. It's fresh, yeah, that's, that's, wow. not a, that's not jelly out of a can. Yes. Give me some of that up there. Oh, that looks just so nice. some there, brother. And what's her name? Marilyn. Marilyn, thank you so much. She is the queen well, of the kitchen. Good. Try that. <laughs> Pretty good. Wow. Now, let's cut a big. You want to get a little bit of it in? Oh yeah. Let's see what we got here. Like dark meat. Oh yeah. That's why we we got him upside down, but that's where the dark meat is. To me, it's richer. Mm -hmm. Has a fuller flavor. I like my favorite part of a chicken. Try that. Pie. Look at that. Look man. how juicy that is. Mm -hmm. Look at the moisture in that. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Mm. 90 minute outdoor turkey. 90 minute outdoor turkey. Try John's that, try that little 90 piece minute, right there. With the skin, there you go. Now see, now you're talking. Mm. Thank you so much. All right. Perfect. Let's rip it apart. Farmer, you I'll let, the owners. Well, I was going to let you because you want the pe that little You're going to let me have yeah. the pecan? That's so yes. sweet of you. Then I'll just take it. How is it? Beautiful. Wonderful. Mm. <laughs> so nice and spicy. Yum. Oh, that's good. Tonight was very special. Yes, it was. <laughs> As usual, because we had a lot of good food. Yes, we did. And if you wanted to find our good food recipes, Mrs. Farmer, where would you go? I go to timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. One more thing, we have a Facebook page, we Tim do. Farmer's Country Kitchen Facebook page, mm -hmm. growing rapidly, but it's so hard to get on there, Ms. Farmer. It what is. do you have to do to get you on there? You hit like. You hit like, that's yeah. all there is to it. Mrs. Farmer, that half hour has rushed by. It has. Let me tell you, the cheeseburger potato soup is where it's at. Yes. I am just telling you, I'm not kidding Delicious. you, try it. Delicious. And our half hour is up, which yes, means it it's all about good times, good friends, and really good eats. We'll see you next week on Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen. I'm going to have another piece of this pie. I'm going to have all your mm. pieces of pie.